Hello and welcome back to the Luca Giotto Greenwood. Today we're at the Spanish Grand Prix. Hi, just letting you know that we've had the team's expectations through for the upcoming qualifying session. So our expectations are to qualify in 7th position or higher and to beat our teammate Felipe Massa. So we cut on to the end of our first flying lap which puts us into provisional P3 and we're going to go for another lap and this puts us into provisional P4 and that will put us safely through to Q2. And cutting on to our one and only lap in Q2 which puts us provisional 3 and it enables us to qualify for Q3. And cutting on to our lap in Q3, it goes P2 but we're going to go round for another lap and this lap was an improvement. We're going to go for one last lap and cutting on to that lap and it's going to put us into P6 on the grid so a decent qualifying for us today. on the race goals you should keep in mind. So our target is to finish the race in 7th position or higher to beat our teammate and stay above 7th position in the championship. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen and the Williams, Daniel Ricciardo and Hamilton, Bottas, Massa, Fiat and Julian Park, Hulkenberg, Rojan, Kevin Magnussen and Ocon, Alonso, Van Dorn, Marcus Ericsson and Carlos Sainz. Perez and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. Now it's almost time to light out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, we qualified higher than we were anticipating. Let's see if we can do just as well in the race. So our strategy for today's race is to go for the two-stop strategy, starting on the soft tyres, then going on to the mediums, and then going on to the hard compound tyres for the last stint of the race. So as the lights start to come on for the start of today's race, we're starting in fourth position on the grid and it's five red lights and away we go. And it looks like we've had quite a good start there, already overtaking Max Verstappen and up into third place and we go into the supreme of Sebastian Vettel. Can we make the move? We go onto the racing line a bit more as that's the Mercedes of Hamilton that went up the inside of us there but we're able to stay in third position and behind the two Ferrari drivers for the moment. And we are not going to be able to make an overtake into turn 4, so we cut on to the start of lap 4, and that is Lewis Hamilton that is going up the inside of us, going into turn 1. Can we possibly try and prevent him? No, we can't, as Jolene Palmer is out of this race. So let's go and see what's happened to Jolene Palmer. And it looks like there that is a mechanical failure for the Renault driver, so not good for him. And now we're going to cut on to lap 7 and we're going to come into the pits for our first of two stops of the day as we break to make the line in the good speed limit as we're going to come into the pits and will it be a good pit stop by the Williams pit crew and yes it looks like it's a pretty decent stop there but now let's see where we're going to come out compared to other drivers. It looks like we're in P13 just now, and is that going to change? It is, as Sergio Perez overtakes us, and we are into P14, and can we possibly try and get past the Mexican driver? We're going to cut on later to lap 8, and we go up the inside of the Mexican, going into turn 5, and we have made the move with a wee bit of touching of wheels, but no harm is done. But we cut on now to lap 11 and that is Valtteri Bottas that has overtaken us into turn 1 and that is a very good move from the finished driver but we cut on to lap 12 
We've now got the DRS on Esteban Ocon. And we go up the inside into turn 10. And that is us up into P4 now as we cut on to lap 16. As that's Sergio Perez that's out of the race. So let's take a look at what happened to him. And that is an engine failure for the force engine driver. Not what he would have wanted in this Spanish Grand Prix. But we cut on to lap 18 and it's time for our second and hopefully last pit stop of the day as we break to make the speed limit this time again and let's hope for another good pit stop by the Williams pit crew they are very good at their stops they've got a very good reputation and that is another pretty decent stop as we go onto the hard compound tyres but we are currently in P6 but will that change as we go out of the pits it looks like it could be close and I think we've just about made it without getting overtaken. And that is us in P6 as we come out of the pits. But we now cut to lap 22. And that is the Red Bull that's going up the inside us. And that is Ricardo that has made the move. And we have slightly almost gone off track there, but not quite. But it's a good defensive move from us there. We're going to cut on to the very next lap. And that is Ricardo again that's tried to make a move up into the turn one and that is Hamilton that's trying to go around the outside and has made contact with us but we're able to hold the position of P5 again but once again we cut onto the very next lap and that's Hamilton and that's Verstappen coming out of the pits and we have been very cheeky there putting Hamilton into the, the slower Verstappen that was coming out of the pits let's take a look and that was very cheeky from us there I'm not sure what the stewards would have thought of that but that was quite a risky move there and let's take a look on board from Hamilton as we just push him into the Red Bull coming out of the pits that was pretty cheeky from us I have to admit but it was a legit move there I think but we're we now going to cut on to lap 25 and it's Lewis Hamilton that's trying to overtake us again and trying with a bit more aggression this time because of what we did on the previous lap but we're able to defend once more from the Mercedes driver but now we cut on again to the very next lap and that is Lewis Hamilton trying to overtake again but this time we hold it around the outside again of turn 1 and that's Hamilton, he's trying to stick it around the outside of turn 2 but we're going to try and go around the outside of turn 3 and we've been managed to hold it around the outside again but we cut on to lap 27 now and is Hamilton going to have a look again? Yes he does as we try and use all the track we can to try and defend and we're going to try and hold it around the outside of turn 2 again but is Hamilton going to go up the inside into turn 3? Yes, he is. But we're able to hold it around the outside of turn 3 again. And we are still able to hold our position there. As we cut on to the very next lap now again. And that is Hamilton going up the inside of turn 1 again. And is he going to keep it around at turn 2? Yes, he is. And can we make it around the outside of turn 3? We're going to try the move as we bang to the side pod. And then we hit the back wheel of Lewis Hamilton with our front wheel. That was a bit of contact and I think he pushed us off there. So let's take a look at a replay. We go around the outside, side by side of turn one and turn two. We kind of lose a bit of momentum going to turn three, but we get the momentum back on the Mercedes driver. You see the contact just before it turns to the camera there. Then the second bit of contact pushed us off the track. But we're now gonna cut on to lap 30. And it's now Max Verstappen who's trying to go up the inside of us into turn 1. But again, we're able to hold it round the outside. So we've been very good on the defence today, but we're going to cut on to the chequered flag. And we come home in a solid fifth position. A great win then for the Maranello team today. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari.
So, if you have enjoyed this episode of the Look at Gotto Greenwood, please do leave a like as it shows the support for the channel, and share the video around, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on F1 2017. So I'll see you next time for another video, and goodbye.